I see you. Do you see me? Hello, my name is Zach Curtis. I am here to tell you about Best Buddies. Best Buddies is an international nonprofit organization that provides one to one friendships and leader opportunities for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. It was founded by Anthony Kennedy Shriver in 1989 and now reaches across the world in all 50 states and 50 countries. Let me tell you how Best Buddies has impacted my life. Before Best Buddies, I felt like some people saw me as my disability, not as my abilities. Best Buddies has changed my life and it has given me the confidence to be the leader I know I can be. It has helped me and others see my strengths. The friendship and leader opportunity, ship opportunities I have through Best Buddies have helped me see me for who I really am and has allowed me to see others for who they really are, disability or not. I joined Best Buddies when I was a freshman at Fisher's High School and was maps with Mal and Fletchell. Mal and I became best friends and our friendship still continues to stay to this day. Even though Mal is, is now at Indiana University and I'm now a part of the Butler University Best Buddies chapter. In high school I served as an officer served for my Best Buddies chapter for two years in a row. This this role, I've made a lot of other friends and developed my leadership skills. In June of last year, I graduated from Fisher's High School and, and am now working in an internship program called Project Search at St. Vincent Carmel Hospital where I learn different job skills and how to work in the workforce. I am also a member of the Best Buddies International Young Leaders Council, a highly selective group of young leaders from across the country who work to make Best Buddies programs the best they can be. Best Buddies and the relationships I've developed through Best Buddies have helped me believe in myself and be confident that I can achieve my dreams, be successful, and be fulfilled with my life. It is because of this confidence that I'm here to speak today about something very important to me. I'm here to talk about the R word and ask you to stop using it. The phrase mentally retarded was once used by doctors and health professionals as a diagnosis for people with intellectual disabilities. But even the medical profession has since changed the term and is no longer used. Instead, the hour has now to become another way to say, that's stupid or that's lame or that's not cool. You hear it in movies, music, in the hallways, and on the street. And people argue that's just a word. Many people don't realize how this affects people with disabilities. When you use this word this way, you are labeling a whole group of people, including me, as stupid or inferior. I'm not inferior. I interned at a hospital. I was elected homecoming king my senior year of high school. I'm an athlete. I hope to one day live independently. I was just hired at my first paid job. I am a contributing member of my community. I enjoy helping people. I am an advocate. I am a public speaker. I am a leader and I am a great friend. Now do you see me? Labeling people the hour allows you to see only one part of them. I am more than my autism. Do you see me? Martin Luther King Jr. once said, In the end, we will remember not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. Dr. King used words to motivate, to inspire change. However, he also understood the power of words to hurt. The hour is no different than any other harmful, racial, ethnic, or religious slur. And using it hurts me and others with disabilities. There will always be people who it's who think it's still okay to use that word, and those people will hurt me, but will you be a friend who speaks up or one who stays silent? I encourage you to take the pledge to end the R word from everyday speech. Will you join me in changing this word to respect? We are different, and those differences make us unique. Pledge to respect others through your words.